Today I'll be setting up my NSB for the Jordan 4 Oreos that are coming out tomorrow on July 3rd. But if you're in need some of a cook group or some uh, ISP proxies, here's a quick sponsorship video for you guys. If you guys are still looking for a cook group, I highly suggest you guys get Drop Alert. Now that I'm sponsored by Drop Alert, you can use my promo code JC15 to get 15% off your order. As you can see here, it's $20 a month, so give it a try. Try out a month and see how it works for you. Also, if you're in need of some proxies, I highly recommend you guys get Oculus ISPs. Um, now that I am sponsored by Oculus, you can get 25% off your order if you use my promo code JC, exactly how you see it on the screen right now. So head over to Oculus if you need ISPs, use the promo code, get your 25% off, and let's see how the proxies work for you. So now let's get into the setup. I'm going to go over all four foot sites because the shoes are going to come out on all four. If you don't know what foot sites are, it's Foot Locker, East Bay, Foot Action, and Champ Sports. So all four of those sites, and then I'll go over Shoe Palace, Shop Nice Kicks, and Jimmy Jazz, which is um, Shopify sites. So let's start off with foot sites. So first, I'm going to go over Foot Locker. And remember, the step I'm about to do for Foot Locker, exactly the same for Champ Sports, East Bay, and Foot Action. So for the mode right here, you'll put smooth. And for the skew, here's how you get it. This is the Foot Locker page. You just head over to releases, and then here's all the shoes. See, they have men's, grade school, preschool, and toddler. So let's get the men's. You just click on it. It'll take you to the product page right here. You scroll down, and right here where it says product number, this right here is your SKU. So you're just going to copy and paste that into the bot. Just like that. So remember, this is for the men's sizes. And you can see sizes, they're going to have sizes 7.5 through 15. I'm okay with all, all those sizes, so I'm going to leave it blank, which is random size. Or you could type in RA, it doesn't matter. If you want a specific size, like a size 10, you just type in 10. If you want 10 through 11, for example, you'll type in each size like that, separated by a comma, no spaces. So for me, I'm going to leave it blank for random. Billing, select your billing. Proxies, here's what I'm using. I'm using my Oculus ISPs, Leaf Residential, Jiru Residential, and Stealth Residential. So th those are the four. I'm going to mix it up for tomorrow's drop, but those are the four I'm using at the moment. For advanced, I like to leave this alone, so I use a default setting, so I don't even click on this. Schedule task, I start my task 5 to 10 minutes early, or 5 to 10 minutes before the drop. My drop, I'm on the west coast, so it's at 7 a.m. for me, so I'm going to schedule it for 6.50 a.m., 10 minutes before the drop. And for foot sites, if you have this on smooth, you do not have to solve a CAPTCHA, so don't click on this. So after that, just submit. And that's how you set up the task for the adult size um, fours tomorrow. So do those steps and you know, you'll know you have your task set up. But now let's get the grade school skew. I'm not going to go over the preschool and toddler, but it's the same steps as these. So you just click on it, go to the product number, and then that's the skew. So here is the grade school. They're going to have sizes 3.5 to 7. Scroll down here. And there's the skew. So you just copy and paste that in. For these sizes, I don't really want a super small size like three and a half or four. So I'll probably type out four and a half to seven. So like this. Remember, do not use spaces or you're gonna mess it up. So just like that. Once again, use whatever proxies that you have. Um, starting at 5 to 10 minutes before, I leave these this alone, and you do not need to solve a CAPTCHA. So submit that. And that's pretty much how you set up the task for Foot Locker, for the adult size Oreos, and then the grade school size. So again, these steps, exactly the same for Champ Sports, East Bay, and Foot Action. And all four of those sites, they're going to have the same sizes and the same skew. But I'll show you guys Champ Sports just so you guys can see. Here, I have Foot Locker, I have all four of the foot sites open, all four of them are going to have the shoes, so set up your task for all four of the sites. But anyways, here's Champ Sports, head over to releases, here's the adult size, just click on that. Again, s the same sizes, or I guess Foot Locker had a size 15, but anyways, a skew, the same as Foot Locker as you can see. 
Oh, actually, it's different from Foot Locker. It's usually the same, so... My mistake on that. It's going to be different for once. So, yeah, it's going to be different. So, check each site now, because I, now I don't even know. That's why I like to check in front of you guys to be safe. But as you can see, different from Foot Locker, so... When you're setting up tasks, make sure you're checking each site. So this is for the men's sizes. They're having 7.5 through 14. So I'm going to leave a blank for random. And then I'm going to use... You know, I like to mix it up, so let's just say I'm using this. I'm going to use all four for each, but... Just as an example. Starting it 10 minutes before the drop. Leave these two alone, in my opinion. Submit that. And there is the skew for the adult size Oreo 4s. For champ sports now let's get the grade school one let's see if grade school is going to be different as well okay so if this ever happens where it says sorry we sold out and when you scroll down you can't really get a skew don't worry about it it's in the link up here you just click up here you can see right here where it says this that's going to be the skew so just copy and paste that remember this is the grade school pair so As you can see, way different from Full Locker. So that's going to be it for Champ Sports. I'm going to just type out the sizes that I want for this. Just like that. Let's just say I'm mixing it up. So there it is for Full Locker. This is the adult size. This is the grade school. For Champ Sports, this is the adult. And this is the grade school. So now I, I'll go over Foot Action and East Bay as well since now I don't know if it's going to be the same or not same SKUs but either way it's the same steps you just go on the site click on the shoes scroll down and find the SKUs so here's foot action let's go to the men's sizes and again it's the same things happening for here like it was on champ sports you just go up to the link up here and then just copy and paste this So it looks like this is going to be different as well from all of them. So pretty weird drop how they're all different because usually it's all the same. But you know, it's whatever. Sizes, I'm going to leave mine random. And then again, same steps as Foot Locker and Champ Sports down here. I'm going to submit that. So now let's get the skew for a grade school. And it's doing it again. So like I said, just get it from the link. So I'll paste that in. So you can see so far each of them have been different. Like I said, this usually does not happen. It's usually always the same, but it looks like this drop foot sites are doing it differently. So let's do the last foot site, which is East Bay. Again, have it on smooth. And let's see if East Bay's is the same as any of them. Oh, they're having the sizes all the way up to 18, so. I'm probably going to have to type out the sizes I want for this because I don't want a size 16, 17, and 18. But here is the skew. We're going to copy and paste that in. It looks like it's going to be different from all of them. And it is different. So now you guys know for each foot site for this drop, get, they have their own skews. So check all their websites. Sizes. I don't want a 16, 17, and 18 like I said. So I'm going to type out all the sizes I want. Separated by a comma, no spaces, like that. So, again, start it 5 to 10 minutes before the drop. Don't need to click on these. And submit that. So there's the men's size for East Bay. Now I'm going to get the grade school. It's really funny how they mix it up for this drop, but it's no big deal. So here's a skew for the grade school pair on East Bay. Gonna paste that in. And this the skew for the grade school on East Bay is actually the same as Champ Sports. As you can see, so but other than that, the rest all look different from each other. So there's the skews for each foot site. You saw that I got it straight from the site, so you could trust you could trust the skews. But that's how you set up your task for all four foot sites for tomorrow. So now I'm going to get into a couple Shopify tasks. First, I'm going to go over Shoe Palace. 
So for Shoot Palace, for a mode right here, always have it on Cyber 3.0. For Shoot Palace, you could get a link as well. You can see it has link variant keywords. If you could get a link, use that. If not, I would use um, a variant. If you can't, if you can't find either of these two, and then then you will settle for keywords. But Shoot Palace, you could get a link. Here's how you get it. So here's a Shoot Palace site. You just go to releases, and it'll take you to this page. You just click on the shoe. You can see here it looks like it's only going to have toddler and men's. Don't see a grade school here. Okay, grade school is near the bottom. So if you're getting the link from Shoe Palace, grade school is at the bottom. The men's is at the top. But anyways, how you get the link, you just click on the shoe. It will take you to this product page right here. You can see they have sizes 7.5 all the way through 16. What you'll do is just go to the link up here and just copy and paste that in. It's that simple for Shoe Palace. You can see the sizes I already saved from the other tasks, so I'm going to leave that alone. This is a Shopify site, so I recommend you use an ISP or no proxy or a DC if you have one. So for I'm going to mix it up for the for the men's on Shoe Palace. I'm going to go with no proxy starting at 10 minutes before. I'm going to submit that. And then when I go back here, here's how you get the grade school pair. Do the exact same thing, just click on it. They have sizes 4 through 7. And again, you just copy and paste the link. So I'm going to type it out 4.5 through 7 because that's what I want. And for the men's task, I put no proxy. So for this grade school task, I'm going to put my Oculus ISPs. Starting 10 minutes before, submit that. That's pretty much how you set up the task for Shoe Palace. I noticed right here, this is a grade school pair for the, for the Fords on East Bay. I forgot to change the sizes, so if you ever make a mistake, you just go right here. This is how you edit your task. And I'm just going to change this real quick to the correct sizes. And you can see here it changed. So that's how you edit a task if you ever mess it up. But So that's how you set up the task for the all four foot sites and Shoe Palace. Now I'm going to go over another Shopify site, which is Jimmy Jazz. Again, Cyborg 3.0 for Jimmy Jazz, and you can also get a link. So here's how you get it. Head over to releases. It'll take you to this page. Same exact thing as Shoe Palace. You just click on the shoe. It'll take you to the page. Even though it says this, it's it's on the product page. You can see up here it says Jordan 4 Retro White Oreo. So you just copy and paste the link. And paste it right there. Since it says... You know, since it shows this page, you can't see what sizes they're gonna have. So just to be si just to be safe, I would type out the sizes you don't mind copying. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick, like that. Again, this is a Shopify task, so use no proxy ISPs or a DC. Jimmy Jazz, you're supposed to start at five to eight minutes before the drop. So I'm gonna start this five minutes before. And then I'm going to leave these settings alone. So submit that. That was the men's link for the for Jimmy Jazz. For the F Jordan 4s. And here's the grade school pair. Click on that. Again, it's going to say the same thing, but it's on the page. So just copy and paste the link. And you guys get it by now, so... Put, type out the sizes you want, or if you don't care, leave it blank. And you can see here it even says it'll attempt to copy a random size because I left it blank. So, are you sure you want that? Yep, or never show again. So, I'll put never show again. So, that's how you would set up your task for Jimmy Jazz for the men's pair and the grade school. Let's go over one last site now, which is a Shopify site um, Shop Nice Kicks. Cyborg 3.0 Shop Nice Kicks. You could also get a link. So here I'm under launches, and you can see the shoes right here. Men's pair and the grade school. Just click on it. They have sizes 7 through 18. So the same thing as the other sites, just copy and paste the link. And just type out the sizes you want. 
use a no proxy ISP or a DC to give yourself a better chance. Start this task. I think it's five to eight minutes also before the drop. So I'm gonna start this at six fifty five and then submit that. So that's pretty much how you set up the task for all these sites. Um, these are the sites that are confirmed to drop tomorrow on July third for the Jordan Four White Oreos. So good luck with that. It's it shouldn't. I mean, it won't be an easy drop, but there's plenty of stock, so we should be able to cop some pairs, hopefully. So good luck with that. If you have any questions at all, just leave it down in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If I'm able to cop some pairs, I'll post a live cop, so hopefully I'm able to get some tomorrow. But that's going to be today's video, guys. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. We're getting closer and closer to 1,000 subs, so let's get there as soon as we can. Please like this video. And hopefully I'll be able to post a live cop tomorrow. But anyways, thanks, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.